Prepare for rivals. Right, here we go, round two, we get Munchers on the attack, Holy Crusaders on the defense. Um, as we've discussed previously though, the defender normally has has an advantage because um, they get to, they get the resupply, they get shorter rotate, rotation routes, let's say. Um, and if they decide to be aggressive and counter-attack like we saw with Surf Slayers, for example, earlier on this evening, and no beaches as well, to be fair, man, they were, had an Apologies, they have an ex had an extremely aggressive defense up on the A wall, so we'll see, man. Let's see what can be done. So Trusty Bell starting with his Janissaries. There will be no Sally out again. Um, Holy Crusaders are only starting with... Oh, apologies, I keep burping, man. We're only starting with one winged Hussar. And it looks like there's a couple of players for Baguette Munchers that are going to rush up to the gate straight off the bat and see if they can get any. Saltiest God, cheaper in every way. <laughs> I mean, stuff that just gets produced in like China just is a lot cheaper to produce, man. It's just it's just the way it is. Like you can't you can't say anything about it. Um, obviously, a lot of the time, not all the time, but a lot of the time, the the, the quality of the things that are like produced isn't maybe as high quality as it would be if it was produced in say Europe or North America. But it's that cheap that nobody really cares. So. Right, let's double check runes as well. I doubt anyone's going to have runes on. Nobody has runes on. Good to see. So this match can keep going. First Treb's coming down on the gate. Just in case there was a Sally out. There wasn't going to be one though. But obviously the attackers wouldn't have been able to see that. They should maybe have just waited. If the door opened then straight away did the... Um, then straight away did the, the Treb. But I suppose they don't really lose that much. It's only one Treb. Um, it looks like Holy Crusaders are going to do a complete, complete, like, floor defense, basically. They're not going to bother with the bay either. They're just going to use artillery, have everyone running around on the walls to look like they're going to be staying up there. But they're probably not actually going to be defending the wall. He's got Frack up here, just keeping his eye out what's going on. Probably would have liked to get a decent preb off if there was a, a decent target. And we'll go from there. Where's his coffee look? And he's still got his horrible armor on. Like, oh my days, the hate of this. Let's see if he's got a good aim. I'm going to say he's going to miss. Best angle we can get, boys. But actually, that was pretty good, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm proud. Proud of you. That was, that was a good shot. Enjoyed it. Not enjoying your hair color so much, though, if I'm being honest. But what can we do? Can, can I convince you in any way to get change, please? The, kind of hurting my eyes but because it's so horrible I kind of have to look at it it's like the like an accident where or like somebody somebody's had a horrible broken arm you just have to look at it it's kind of what the feeling I've got right now just not just not what we need please coffee's distracted <laughs> right so the siege towers look like they're about to get in we'll check health now but they they're pretty much none of them are even burning man so they're all getting in um, Holy Crusaders are not going to be defending there. They're starting to pull back already. No one wants to get caught out. They'll pull down off the wall. Uh, Heroes-wise, it looks like they've got similar setups to what they just had. So Holy Crusaders have got four malls out, which is actually a very good shout with having no uh, no runes up on anything. <clears throat> malls can do... Obviously, everyone knows malls do a lot of blunt damage, but... It worked out for them on the attacks. So let's see how it does from on the defense. Um, unit wise, for the defenders, they have Tercios out. It's a musket, it's not really a specialist. For later on in the fight, they do have only one flame. That might bite them in the ass. The attackers, on the other hand, have got one flame also. Oh no, two flames. Two flames. 
three sets of the Kaelin as well. So they do have more crowd control units. Um, that could be a problem for Holy Crusaders um, because they've only got the, the couple. So we shall see. We shall see how it goes. So A is just about to get capped. But Get Munchers have got a couple of units outside the gate. There's a massive stack of Holy Crusaders at the gate here as well. Depot's pulling back. The attackers again, they've got one set of flames out for this bush. They've got Janissaries. They've got Tercios. Who's got the Janissaries out? Trusty Bear's got Janissaries. And Wajdilo. I have no idea if I just pronounced that right. Probably not. It's got Tercios. Some douchebag in his car with fucking like ridiculous base. I was like, what the fuck is that? Luckily, you guys couldn't hear it on the microphone though. So it looks like they were just baiting over here to make them think they were going to push down this side. But they're actually going to push down this stairs or the back stairs here. Might be an idea to rotate all the way around. Maybe just put the heroes here to make them think they're going to come this way. X move their units around and then you can obviously get around quicker with your heroes. But that was a fairly quick rotate. But again, defenders have the shorter routes to rotate. So they could easily rotate with the attackers. They've left a decent amount of units on the point. I'm pretty sure this formation for Fort Brachios is kind of glitching and isn't working at the minute. I would probably use F1 formation there instead of that. So big push coming here from Baguette Munchers now. Let's see how it goes. The defenders again don't have any CC units. So the flames from the attackers are going to do absolute work. Super Bone though from NA is jumping straight in there. So is Bjornolf. Bjornolf got stopped right at the beginning though. Super Bone just got kind of staggered though. But he's managed to thunderclap the flames. The Mole not demo got in there as well and got involved. And it looks like now Wing the Stars charging in. The attackers have just dropped four heroes. It looks like NA, Holy Crusaders, have just absolutely decimated that attack. Now they're going to push up the stairs and get rid of these Tercios. And the Janissaries, that's, that is a very good trade for those boys. Coffee though, being a sneaky little boy and getting a third of the cap off on B, slightly over a third. Uh, DU is going to try and get the East and Resupply, Coffee Fueled is with him. We'll see if Holy Crusaders can see that and get him. Dutch Knight's just literally spawned in, he's probably just left his unit outside and he's going to try get into the, the Resupply and get a, a unit out. He's got Cataphracts and Zakalian. He must, you know, he didn't die. He didn't die just. They're going to be able to get units out here, though. Four defending heroes on three attacking. The attackers couldn't get any units out, though. Iron Reapers coming. Yeah, that is Iron Reapers. Iron Reapers from behind. Claymores from the front. The attackers are going to get pushed off there and destroyed. The attackers have got a big stack on the gate. I wouldn't want to push through there, if I'm being honest, because that's just one very small choke point. Even though the format, like the, the, the close cropped formation for Fort Brachio isn't working amazing at the minute, it will do to, to block stuff coming through here. I would honestly put them in F1 though if uh, if I was if I was the defenders. And we tested it basically. I don't know what, what's wrong, but I don't know if you've seen like when they sit there, they're, they're, their pikes at the front are kind of like weirdly crossed over each other. And it feels like the front row doesn't actually engage enemies like they should do. So it's it seems to just be better at the minute to place them in F1 formation. Or if you need to, then the F2, like the double line instead of like the block. Obviously, if you're just moving around, block's decent because they keep close together. But I, it doesn't seem to work when they're braced for some reason. Just a little heads up for anybody that didn't know. So they've rotated up onto the wall, which is the right decision. I don't know if they should do a split push though, because if they do one big one like that, they might get ruined. The defenders have Zekalian and they have Tercios up. Our wall dragon just got grabbed by a mole. That's never good. His crap tier pikes though. Alright, yeah, it was only village watchman. It's not the end of the world. Obviously, having an extra hero up to jump on specialist units would have been nice for the attackers. They do have flames out, they have Zakalian as well. They do not have muskets this time though. We'll see how this fight goes down. I wonder. Iron Reapers. Defender. They got a good few sets of Iron Reapers, man. Four or five sets of them. They got Winged Disaster from Peepo to clean up if they get down. So they're going to do a similar rotation. This time it doesn't look like they're actually going in going with everyone. Or are they? 
Rusty Bell's the only guy left here alone. If he gets stopped now, or grabbed by a mall even, which would be even worse. So he's the last unit to, uh, last unit and hero to move. Yuki Shimoto might be looking to grab him though here. Okay, no, he's pulled back. Right, so they've rotated to the same side again. The defenders are slightly slower in reacting this time. They do have, now have Zakalian out from Not Tyler. Not Tyler... I can't see where he is. So I can't see where there's a Kaylee in a place. Fat boy looks like he's going to change his unit. Unless he's just healing his Modao. They're thinking as well. Look, they st stuck Modao in the, the gatehouse to slow them down. They might pull the Fort Bracky over then as well. Big push coming in now from the attackers. They do have Flames out. They do have Silidars. They do have Zakalian. Good Pyquark coming in here. It's just been stopped though. Iron Reaper's charging in. Coffee Field's going for the point again, so he's just run straight through. Obviously, he must have just used his unit abilities straight off the bat. Just Iron Reaper's getting in the fight. He's getting the cap off. Oof, they've lost. Oh, they're dropping units, though. The defenders have just lost maybe 30, and I'm pretty sure the attackers just lost like 100. A few of the flames here getting shots off, but they haven't really been able to be, get a de decisive... They haven't had a decisive impact on this, on this fight like they should have done. I think it's maybe because they're on the stairs. They do not fight as well as they should do. Now you've got Goff jumping in there, he's bombing him, he's going to use his Caltrops, they're going to die. Um, Coffee did make it to the point, but he didn't actually manage to cap it. Got a couple of guys on the supply here. The attackers again have hemorrhaged heroes. And they've got half the units, they've lost 700 to 300 of Holy Crusaders. So Holy Crusaders, the Holy Crusaders have won, in my opinion. Now. There's not going to be enough things that the attackers can now do. They still have... Multiple cavalry to come, and it's going to be the same situation that Surf Slayers and No Beaches were in, both on their attacks. They're going to have a lot of cavalry, and obviously the cavalry can only come through the gatehouse. Cavalry is amazing if you get B and you spawn inside the city, but having a force feed cavalry through this tiny little opening and having Modao, Fort Abrachio, IPGs blocking it is not, not good. So... They're going to struggle, man. So they've got three guys now with Zakalian. They've got bagpipers out. They've got Namcams. There's this. I think it's GG. Holy Crusaders absolutely nuking their attack. An extremely strong defense. Let's check the hero kill disparity. 28 to 5 at the minute. That is absolutely ridiculous. Very, very well played from Holy Crusaders so far. Yukishimoto in the back here with cavalry getting ready to, to nuke stuff with his cataphracts. Got them hidden around the side here as well. Not many will see it. Dio's going to try getting onto the resupply. He won't know that the cataphracts are here. As soon as that pops off, Yukimoto is going to run back around this way. You've got Apoth Apotheosis in here at the front as well. He's just stopping him from capping it. Yukimoto's jumping in as well. They've got no units, so these two should be able to kill him fairly easily. Big setup on Gatehouse as well, look. And because, look, they've got cavalry, like, they, the cavalry's used. Like, one set of Fort Brachio and it's GG. Like, two sets of Modal, GG. They've got, they've got Javs up, they've got Palace Guards up, they've got some Muskets back here as well. A couple of units, or a couple of heroes, sorry, jumping straight on those and clearing them straight out. That was on Tercios as well. Um, multiple heroes from the attackers jumping on the point here. Again, Coffee Fueled is on B. They might actually get B, you know? And then they get spawned inside if they can... Ooh, they've just been stopped though. Holy Crusaders are literally just defending that with mainly heroes and like two units of cav. They needed like a second more on Bean than they had that. That is that is unlucky for the attackers. Good attempt though, but they need they've lost the fight back here completely as well. Very well played from Holy Crusaders. They did not re overreact to the couple of heroes that were on point trying to cap. They made sure they had enough guys to win the fight comfortably on the stairs. They had enough guys still blocking the gatehouse just in case cavalry tried charging through. And then they just relied on a couple of the heroes at first and a couple of units of cavalry to clear out the point. And once they'd finished these fights, then the rest of them turned around and just collapsed on being absolutely annihilated. That was, that was a smooth, smooth performance. Holy Crusaders, very well played. And Dragon, thank you for the follow, my guy. Much appreciated. That was... That was fucking clean, man. Like, Holy Crusaders there, their, their strat for both the attack and defense worked amazingly. Their rotations worked amazingly. The synergy as a team was spot on. 
uh, unit selection, even though I was like questioning a little bit why they don't have, they've only got one set of flames, was spot on, obviously. Um, very well played, my guys. Very, very well played. You can, I don't know how many times you guys have screamed this week, but it was enough to absolutely ruin, uh, to ruin the get munchers on this match, man. That was, that was very well played. A minute left of this game. It looks like Coffee's going to try and get a sneaky cap off on B again, but he's not going to be able to do it. Fat Boy's already on him, and there's there's still just guys sat on B just in case, because um, they literally would need like half a second, and that would be cap. Holy Crusaders sallying out now as well, adding the insult to the injuries, and they're 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 nuking stuff. So we've got 33 seconds left of this match. Let's see now the hero kill disparity disparity. 45, 46 heroes killed. The six lost. Holy Crusaders. Absolutely disgusting. Obviously, now it's going to be completely just spawn camping, so I'm not going to tell the whole story. Yeah, they've got multiple heroes on point, but that cavalry is going to ruin them. They've got multiple heroes jumping every which way, saying, Get the hell out of our city. Ruining them. <laughs> Hunting them. Very, very well played, Holy Crusaders. That was a joy to watch. Commiserations, forget munchers, my guys. Um, you were outplayed on the night. I think you'll you'll agree with me there. I don't know how, how much you guys how much you guys managed to trim this week, but um, that was rough, man. That was very rough. I think every engagement on both matches, yeah, every engagement on both matches, you guys lost fairly handily as well. To be fair, like, I don't I don't mean to be mean, but I can. Like everyone else can read the, the graph as well. I'm just reading what's there, guys. Uh, nothing against the, the guys from Forget Munchers. But that was... I think they would agree that was a rough, rough fight, man. They got ruined, I think, on every level. Um, let's see. MVP for Forget Munchers was Total War Drago. 0, 3, 2, and 63. He had the most units killed. Yeah, heroes killed. Look, Trusty Bell with three shot bows. Obviously, very good hero class killer. Um, a lot of deaths though. A lot of deaths there. That's, that's... The... Two flames on the second guy there, three on the next one. So, they did have a couple of guys getting rid of the, the flames fairly quickly when that fight went off, but it was rough. Absolutely rough. Not demo there. 4 0 16 and 77. Very well played. Akel. 9, 1, 12, and 81. GG, my guy. Four Flames as well for Not Demo. Eight Zakalian as well. I think Not Demo was the guy that jumped up onto the stairs a second as well and just did a little whirly boo attack and absolutely nuked the, 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 the Flames that were up there. Akel as well, a couple of uh, Sifiroth and a couple of Zakalian as well. So they were going straight after the specialist. Like 16 Zakalian and three Sifiroth and Well played, man. Very well played. Like, holy crusaders, man. That was tasty. GG, my boys.